there anything unobjectivist about enjoying the mountains or even preferring to live in them as opposed to the city? No, no, nothing unobjectivist or anti-objectivist, nothing incompatible with the fountainhead. You can enjoy the mountains or the prairies or life on the ocean and still be a 100% objectivist. I've already lectured on this in some old course. An objectivist, if you relate it to one of Ayn Rand's novels, is someone who accepts and acts on the principles of her novels, not necessarily on the concretes. Now, the principle in this context would be human achievement. One man has been able to make of something. But you can do that in the mountains, anywhere on earth. And consequently, all you have to do to agree with the fountainhead is say, this is where I want to live and use my mind. And if you're using your mind, it's 100% objectivist. Whether it's in the mountains or in a coal mine or wherever it is. There are a lot of people who misunderstand this point. In fact, in this old course, uh, the name of which I can't remember, I give examples like this. People who actually ask me, is it okay to have orange hair which verges on blonde? Or should it be completely orange like Howard Rourke in the Fountainhead? And my answer was you should paint it red with purple stripes. Of course, I'm just kidding. But the idea is the color of hair of her hero has zero to do with objectivists. It has something to do with her wanting that character to stand out a certain way in the context of the novel. And all those concretes you have to forget when you are judging yourself or anyone else. It's the theory, the philosophy, the principles of how you should live, not the concretes in one uh, character or plot versus another. So if you say to me, uh, do I have to prefer railroads to airplanes because of Atlas Shrugged? I say, that's fantastic. You can go any way you want. The only considerations are, are time an issue to you? Are price an issue to you? Are you going to be rattled from one side to the other so that you become a GI case? But because trains fit the novel out of the shrug, you can't possibly consider preference for them part uh, of objectivism.